Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on February 5th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the World Update. Where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else that's affecting humanity. Looking here at the last 48 hours on the sun. It looks quiet. Because yeah, there's no sunspots. Looking here at the last 48 hours incoming. Not too many plasma filaments either, except for outgoing. You can see them ripping away there. But under another light, we do have some pretty sizable coronal holes Earth facing right now that will be affecting us within the next 24 to 36 hours. But still a very dead quiet sun. And this is a bit concerning when all we're seeing is coronal holes and very few sunspots. Looking here at another light, pretty much the only activity is in the northern region right now. You can see large filament stretched across. Now, something coming up right now is a Mercury retrograde. Something I wanted to point out here right now. Between February 5th and the 12th. So the next seven to 10 days, we will be affected by the Mercury retrograde, which always seems to increase seismicity around the world. So we shall see over the next coming days how much this increases because it already has over the last 24 hours. Starting here, 4.4 there in Peru. Another 4.7 as well reported in Peru. <clears throat> 4.3 in Chile, Antonio de Cabros. Now I've been talking about that place. It's consistently rocking. 4.7 reported there. East Chile rise. Dominican Republic swarm seems to have disappeared. I wonder where it went. 4.8 there, Ecuador. 4.2 in Mexico. And then look at this strange activity. In Oklahoma, Luchian, Oklahoma, reporting a 4.2 this morning, followed by 3.7, 2.6, 3.5, moving westward here, 2.5 there, Avon and Utah, and as well, Idaho, Stanley, Idaho, reporting 2.5, 3.5, 2.6 there, California. Now, this isn't all the earthquakes. There are many more being reported, and just look at USGS. For the last seven days. Right across the New Madrid. Isn't that something? And then all of a sudden swarming here in Oklahoma. Mind you, it is the fracking state pretty much of the United States. But nonetheless, why isn't USGS reporting all the quakes? Why aren't they reporting all the quakes in China? What's going on here, people? As well, let's move around here. Hawaii still shaking, minor earthquakes. Alaska seems to have quieted down. Only one earthquake being reported in the last little bit. And then through Indonesia and the Philippines. My oh my, many earthquakes throughout the day today as they've had three earth, three pretty deep earthquakes in, in the region. As well, Papua New Guinea, deepest earthquake today, 439 kilometer depth. Another deep earthquake here, 337 kilometer depth and a 5.4. That's the largest earthquake today being reported in Loyalty Islands. 4.5 here in Bankulu, Indonesia. A 4.4 reported 
Myanmar, as well as 4.2 in Iran, and a pretty strange Armenia, 5.1 earthquake east of Turkey. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a look at the last seven days as we're starting to see these deep earthquakes increase. All of the most recent white rings are deep. So those are all the most recent earthquakes, all the white rings. Largest earthquake of the week, the 6.7 reported. Chile rise. Interesting increase in seismicity through the North American plate and then all of a sudden quiet through Alaska and the Cascades. Stay aware and prepared. Russia, Alaska, Africa, Europe, everywhere around the world. You need to stay aware and prepared. And I want to thank everybody for joining Morning Dew. Let's have a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, which you can get yourself. All these apps are available to get. Looking here, the most recent volcanoes, Fuego, and as well, Epico, Tacono, Shevoloch, Kluchevskoy, Ibu, Popoketito, Sabankaya, and then, yes, many avalanches being reported, winter storms, extreme cold conditions as winter. Yes, definitely is here, but this is pretty extreme for a lot of people right now. Uh, deadly extreme cold temperatures being reported in Northwest Territories and will be moving down into northern Alberta. Check the forecast coming up here soon. Just looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, you can see the major systems that are coming from the North Pole, high pressure ridge, bringing down those Siberian polar temperatures. Interesting, interesting transitions across the planet right now with these extreme cold, cold temperatures moving southward. Still have tropical cyclone 18 spinning parts of southwestern Australia, hopefully putting out those fires in Perth and then we have tropical cyclone Ferrari, not to be confused with Ferrari, but tropical cyclone Ferrari is in the Indian Ocean and heading westward. Will be a pretty organized storm later in the week. And then, yeah, many flooding conditions throughout. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here in very cold Calgary, Alberta. Temperatures already and minus double digits and throughout the week by sunday and monday we're going to see about five centimeters of snow from this polar ridge that is moving down from the north bringing yes here reporting parts of northern alberta minus 42 without the wind chill so looking at probably minus 55 those are going to be some pretty strong winds coming later in the week pretty extreme forecast so stay tuned to the morning dew looking at these cold temperatures reaching all the way to albuquerque new mexico and texas that's right some pretty extensive snowfall totals as well stay tuned to morning dew i will be keeping you aware and prepared with a quick video on that the snow totals over the next little bit are going to be intense Eastward we go, and Atlantic provinces, Ontario, as well as Quebec, watch for pretty much snow every day for the next little while as the cold temperatures move in. But along the eastern seaboard, watch out the United States. The United States, you're going to see some pretty extreme weather along the coastline, and most likely some record snowfall temperature or record snowfall and temperatures. Parts of northeastern United States, parts like. New York and Maine and then finally some real snow conditions for the Atlantic provinces overlooking Europe low pressure center still affecting them and it just keeps branching off coming out coming in from the Atlantic and then a watch for this system later in the week I was talking about very intense 
intertropical convergence across the planet? Well, it's going to happen right there in the Mediterranean. Watch for possible Medicaid. And then, yeah, colder temperatures going to be moving westward into the United Kingdom. Watch for low pressure center to move into Russia to bring winter storm conditions to parts of northern China and all across Russia. And look at those cold temperatures that it's bringing with it. So very intense changes happening right now. And as well through Thailand, watch later in the week. Watch for extreme weather as a low pressure center develops there. Heavy rains throughout the monsoon regions. Heavier through the Philippines later in the week. And then overlooking Australia, low pressure center here from the north is going to take its time and is going to drop lots of rain all across the continent over the next five days as it moves what a quarter away or quarter, like pretty much half of the continent. A very slow moving storm. So more flooding conditions, parts of Western Australia, flash flooding conditions. As well through Hawaii, watch for high surf again as another low pressure center moves through. Watch along the convergence line there. And as well through Kamchatka and eastern Russia. Low pressure center here kind of stuck in the Kamchatka Peninsula. And then yes, very cold temperatures moving down into Canada, dangerously cold. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains as per usual, but watch for atmospheric river from South Atlantic there. Heavy rains through Brazil, border with Argentina. And then yet yeah, overlooking Africa daily evaporation rains to continue there as well nothing major no major storms to talk about low pressure center moving in later in the week but not a major system but ferrari is on its way i want to thank everybody for watching i'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern looking at the most biggest players on the planet right now and again thank you for watching thank you for joining the family much love to all the moderators helping out in stream. Much love to you. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.